this, this is what it's going to look like in a rap video. <laughs> like, yeah, like he'll rap a bit, and then you you come back a bit, right? And then I'll be coming up, and I'll be like, <laughs> and then then you do it, man. You you do it. I'd like to apologize to the hip-hop community of America. We didn't mean any disrespect, we're just... We don't have any material. Right? This is it, this is what we resort this to. Is what we, this is what we have to do. It's not even a real horse. <laughs> so anyway, the show's gonna be great tonight. Yeah. Who's on? Oh man, we got all kinds of people. You have no idea who's on the show, do you? Nobody tells me, man. But you, what do you mean? You could ask someone. No, I like it to Why be a surprise. Why don't you ask who's on the show? Because you don't talk to me before the show. Don't give away our show business secrets. No, I like it to be a surprise. Surprise? Who's on the show? Surprise? I don't know. <laughs> do, do you think the audience have guessed that I also don't know who's on the show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the show's going to be great tonight because there, there's people on that you'll be like, you'll be like, no way! Oh wait, oh yeah, look, it's written over there. Tom Lennon's on. Wow, oh, that's good. Yeah. He's great. Oh, the Wild Feathers, the Wild Feathers are on. Tom Lennon and the Wild Feathers. Tom Lennon and the Wild Feathers. Not together. Not yet. Maybe magic will happen backstage. Tom Lennon will join the Wild Feathers, and people will say later on, that's where they met. Do you know, by the way, this is true. Do you know um, the guy in um, that band, Mumford and Sons? Mumford and Sons. And yeah. he's married to that lovely English actress. What's her name again? Uh, she's lovely. She was in The Great Gatsby. Uh, what's her name? Yeah, she'll be on the show, I'm sure. No, no. I don't know. <laughs> what, what? Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan. They got married, but they met here at the show. So, who knows, maybe Tom Lennon's going to get married to somebody in the Wild Feathers. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's all right, it's California, man. Guys can marry him. Yeah, <laughs> the hell, man? The hell with him. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbe unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's all guys. It's all guys. Yeah. Can't, can't make it's that happen, then. You are out of our rap group. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It is 
it is. It's a great day for old people. Old people are in the news today, apparently. <laughs> no, they are, they're like, what? What are we? Because apparently old people are on drugs. <laughs> not sad street drugs. No, no, like happy, happy drugs. Marijuana. According to a new study, yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not advocating the use of marijuana. <laughs> Unless you're in Colorado and then do what the hell you like. But the, uh, no, according to a new study, people over 60 are the fastest growing a group of pot smokers. Experts say old people have been spotted syncing up the dark side of the moon with Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> it works, man. It's really awesome. It's like solving crimes at a fairly sedate rate. <laughs> Here comes Matlock. <laughs> He's going over there. He's walking, walking somewhere else. Matlock. It's a great day if you like football, and who doesn't? Al Qaeda. That's who doesn't. I'm sorry, it's too violent. But the. Uh, the NFL season kicked off last night. What a game, wasn't it fantastic? Oh. I watched it last night when that one guy made that play and I was like, wow, or boo, depending on how you... <laughs> I love football. It's for people who can't stand politics but still watch, you know, enjoy watching millionaires destroy each other. It's perfect. <laughs> the season's begun. I don't want to offend any fans who think their team is going to go all the way. So let me just say, good luck, team in your region. <laughs> Better luck next year, Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Not a joke. <laughs> Going after the Browns on the first night of the season. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not looking uh, down on anyone. LA doesn't even have, have a football team. It's just sad. Every other major American city that, that well, we, everybody's got one except us. We don't have a football right. team, and um, Oakland, that's it. We, uh... <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Take, take that, Hell's Angels wearing guy liner. It's a joke, you're a fantastic team, please don't hurt me. Now, <laughs> last night the uh, Baltimore Ravens played the Denver um, omelets. Uh, <laughs> wrong. A lot of people are picking the Broncos to go to the Super Bowl uh, next year, and it's going to be in New York, outdoors in February. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good idea, having a Super Bowl in the cold. That's like having, uh, it's like having a, an NBA game at Paula Dean's house. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, yeah. in another place. Oh, that's right. Who me? Who me? Let's just, whoa, whoa. Who me? Let's just see. Who said all that stuff? Was it Craig or was it Paula Dean? Who should we ooh? Let's ooh Craig! Yeah. Having the Super Bowl in a cold New York is like, uh, what's it like, Jeff? Having a dental convention in a meth lab. Right, okay. Yeah. It's like, uh... <laughs> it's like having a Mel Gibson tribute in a synagogue. Right, yeah. 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 What's it like, Jeff? It's like having Arnold Schwarzenegger speak at Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm amazed. I'm amazed you didn't ooh Jeff because he, because he did not have sex with the maid. <laughs> Actually, people from Denver would love a Super Bowl in the snow. They'd like to be used to it. I, I've just, I was in Denver just recently. You know, the Mile High City. You fly, what happens? You, you leave the plane, you get in a plane at LA, you fly up, and then you stop and get up. <laughs> like you go and go, <laughs> and like if people from Denver are on a plane and there's an emergency and the masks drop down, they're like, no, we're good, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to Denver and you say you can't breathe, they're like, just drink water. Just drink water. Like, that only works if you're a fish. I need oxygen. Just drink water. Drink water. Just drink water. Just drink water. Yeah. You'll be fine. That's what everyone in Denver talks like. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Drink water. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> No, but I'm telling you, you really feel it when you exercise in Denver. A brisk walk in Denver will leave you panting. It'll leave you panting like, like Bill Clinton at a wet t-shirt contest. Yeah. 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 You're like... <laughs> uh... Are those the Rockies? 
Maybe they're the Grand Tetons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that Denver has the highest amount of uh, college graduates and the lowest obesity rate of any major American city? They are a bunch of smart, skinny people. I hate them. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. That's it? Yeah, that's all I'm doing. It's the start of the football season. I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah. From all the football watching oh, last night. Man. Anyway, never mind. Do you remember last night when Vin Diesel was here? Oh, man. Uh, that was, so that was good. good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, what are you applauding for? You weren't here, jerks. <laughs> What's up, big time? He's still being very gangster, yeah. isn't he? There's are you still listening to that, all that early snoop you were listening to? <laughs> his mind's on his money and what else? His money's on his mind. Right, exactly. Yeah. Do that thing where you read his uh, mind, yeah, like right. Morgan Freeman. Right. right, read his mind. I'm sipping on gin and juice and enjoying a bale of hay <laughs> that I'm going to smoke right now. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm bleasy for sheezy. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the... Part of the show tonight will be... Uh, thanks. Part of the show tonight will not only be... Uh, we'll not only be speaking, but we'll be expressing ourselves... ...through the medium of music. Yes, that's correct. Sometimes you really make me... Oh, I can't stand it when you... No, let's do that thing where we talk like uh, yeah. craft work. Yeah, right. We... <laughs> yeah. Bells out, you know what that means? Whenever I press that bell, we talk like Germans. When I press it twice, we talk like Germans again. Like this. Hello. Still German. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who reminds you to drink some water, you'll be fine. <laughs> drink water. Play this. Here come the players. Yeah. Folks, so don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes, use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Justin in Melbourne. Now, it doesn't say if it's Justin in Melbourne, Australia, or Justin in Melbourne, Florida. What's your guess? Mm, I'm going to say Florida. Okay, let's continue with the email and then see if we can guess by reading the email. All right. right? Good eye, Craig. Still not sure. Still not sure. Crikey dingo, mate. Uh, really great show. I really love it. Are you are you having a, an episode over yeah, there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Justin in Melbourne says, if a guy flew all the way from Melbourne to L.A. to be in your audience, would you want to know about it? Well, it depends if it was Melbourne, uh, you know, in Australia or Melbourne in Florida. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What I'm saying is, either way, I don't care. <laughs> this is from Gretchen in St. Paul, Minnesota. Now, I don't know if it's in St. Paul, Minnesota, or St. Paul in Australia. Australia. Very yeah. popular St. Paul, uh, Australia. Yeah, no, St. Paul was very big in Australia. Good guy, St. Paul. 
Depends when you got them, to be honest. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Depends what you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. Before Damascus, mm, yeah. I don't know. After Damascus, hey, what's yeah, up, St. Yeah. Paul? <laughs> You're welcome, five people. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, if we ask really nicely, will you wear the minty green pants again? I wore my minty green pants on Monday show. Nice People pants. loved them. Yeah, People they were went nice. crazy. You know, like, girls were following me. <laughs> <clears throat> they were like, where did you get those pants? <laughs> you got them, uh, where'd you get them? You got them when you were... Uh, I got them in Denver. In Denver, yeah. I got them in Denver in yeah. a store, the pants store. And actually, as I was leaving, the lady uh, said, enjoy your trousers. En enjoy them. Oh, I enjoy, yeah. enjoyed the hell out of them. Yeah, you did. This is from Air uh, uh, Merrill in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Now, I don't know if it's Oshkosh, Wisconsin, but I do. It is. It is. Oshkosh. It is, yeah. Dear Craig, do you think Jeff's flashing eyes could cause seizures like Japanese anime? Could they? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, go. <laughs> no, I don't, okay? I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they're going to cause any seizures. No, I, no. They, they, I mean, technically, I don't even know if that counts as flashing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Somebody going like that somewhere. Yeah. You got that right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just somebody going like that somewhere makes Jeff's eyes go crazy. Right, Jeff? Cut it out, man. Who's yeah. doing that? Yeah. Hey, Jeff, do you feel it? Do you feel it, Jeff? Yeah. yeah who's yeah. doing that? Yeah, all right, sorry. <laughs> this is from uh, Jurgen in Berlin. Wow. How do they see? Oh, it's the computer, isn't the it? Computer, it the computer, yeah. Computer, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Jorgen in Berlin. Dear Craig und Jeff und Secretariat. <laughs> this is German. Yeah. It's a horse going like, this is apparently what German horses do. That's correct, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what he's doing. Some sort of calisthenics. Yeah, German calisthenics. Okay. Yeah. Jargon in Berlin says, Dear Craig Jeff und Secretariat, if you push the bell two times, do I have a German accent or not? Interesting question. Oh, this is a paradox. Yes. <laughs> this is from Lana and Sarah Stewart's their church in uh, Kentucky. Uh, it says, Dear Craig and Jeff, if you don't have any big plans for the weekend, you're invited over for charades. Okay. Um... The book, yeah, yeah. <laughs> book, yeah, it's book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you laughed at what I was going to do right there. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, this is from Andrea in Mason City, Iowa. Says, Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, Craig and Jeff and Secretariat, how is Lesbian Row tonight? Eh. Eh. Well, I'd have to say in places extreme. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, oh boy. Yep. You know why it's called Lesbian Row? Why is that, Craig? Because it, uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, <laughs> this is from Mandy in Chicago. You ever been there? Oh, yeah. Now, tell me what's your favorite thing about Chicago, oh, apart man. from that other thing. I love the, uh, the, the, the dogs. <laughs> the dogs of Chicago? The dogs, the dogs of Chicago. Great dogs they've got there. Hot dogs! Yeah, those two. Those okay, are great. Right, uh, I love those. Dear Craig and Jeff, do you realize that the chocolate dollars you hold up are actually chocolate quarters? Really? These are chocolate quarters? Oh, man. Well, look, here's one, two, three, four of them. Four together, that would make a chocolate dollar. <laughs> Jeff, do you like a chocolate dollar? Oh, I do. Do you like when I push my fingers together to make a chocolate dollar? I like when you finger that chocolate dollar. That's what I'm doing right now, Jeff. I'm fingering the chocolate dollar. <laughs> I'm making a chocolate dollar happen using my fingers. How are we doing over there, CBS? All right, everyone all right? <laughs> he gets oh. very concerned when yeah, I start talking about the concerned. chocolate dollars. But if you actually show the thing you're showing, then there is no subtext, there's no innuendo, this is what it is. For example, this is a chocolate dollar. Uh, this is a rusty trombone. <laughs> This is a feather which I use to tickle my pipe. <laughs> All these things are exactly as they seem. Now I'm putting... <laughs> I enjoy this bit very much. Yeah. We'll be right back, everyone.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My first guest tonight co directed and co wrote the film Hell Baby. <laughs> That's how you say it when you go to the movies to yeah, see exactly. I'd yeah. like uh, two tickets for Hell Baby. <laughs> it's in theaters now. Take a look at this. Come on, everybody. Go on. You're gonna have to take it for a while, Tom, and yeah. the break. I really thought the floor would be more slippery. Really? And, uh... Did you hurt yourself then? When it wasn't, it really hurt quite a bit, yeah. You're not allowed to sue, though, because that was your idea, running around like that. Idea. Yeah, 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 you did it. You look good, man. That's the kind of stuff Springsteen does. You ever see Springsteen? Yeah, I went to see, I went to see Bruce Springsteen at the Staples Center. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I started, like, I, I love Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah and then uh, about four hours in, I'm like, <sighs> yeah. Turn the lights out when you go, Bruce. Yeah, I'm done, me. and I go Text home. me later. Text me the rest of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he plays a long show. Yeah, he does. We're a real good one. Yeah, no, he's good. You like, uh, you like Springsteen? Love him. You love the Smiths. You're always tweeting about how much you love the look Smiths. At this. Look at this hair. You know, I saw it. Mm -hmm. Is it yours? No, 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 no. But it's, uh, I'm renting to own it. <laughs> so... It's really good, actually. It's uh, superhero hair. Three more times after I rent, I just, I own it then, and I can lease it out and stuff, yeah. <sighs> really good. Thanks, buddy. Let's never run up and down Let's like that never again. Do wow. That again. <laughs> never do that again. Never, ever do we're it not, again. We're not as young as... No. Ooh. No. Oh, I'm just hoping to get saved by the German bell at some point. <laughs> ah, das ist super. <laughs> ah. You sure? We're running around is so super. When we do it one time, we do it again, yeah? That's right, yeah. Yes, he tried to trick you with Yes. But he has never given us this a This is not German. To me, this sounds more like sort of a uh, creepy guy from Morocco, maybe, or something. Cre I am I'm born in Morocco, but raised in Dusseldorf. <laughs> so what's going on? Hell, baby, that looks like it's one for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> It's a thought-provoking film. It was about uh, yeah. exorcism and uh, babies from hell. Yeah, it's one of those movies. Did you ever see, like, Trilogy of Terror? No, I saw one of them. Did you ever see a really crappy horror film? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those where, on like... On purpose, little... though, on purpose. On purpose. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah? All right, all right. Yeah, on purpose. Did yeah. you start out making a kind of parody of a horror film and then realize, or you started out making a real horror film and thought, we'll just call it a parody just in case. Just in case. Yeah, right. And then right. you got your bases covered. Right. It's one of those movies, you know, where like a, 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 a demon comes in and kind of bites people's faces off and that kind of stuff. So, and this is a comedy. <laughs> so there's funny bits and then demons there's bite people's faces there's off. There's a lot, you know what, it will weirdly remind you a lot of the dance that you do at the beginning of emails and tweets, it's like the movie version of that. <laughs> you know when your boobs are out and you're doing... Oh, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually happens in the movie. Will you take your boobs out in the movie? My boobs are out a little bit in the movie. <laughs> are there other people's boobs in the movie? Yes. People who are... Ah, right. People no, who are yeah, your boobs. Right, okay. Yeah. So, um, you have boobies in the movie. There's booby mo boobies in well, the movie? Well, doesn't like, you... Like, you write... You wrote the movie, right? Yes, sir. You and Ben write the movie? Yes. All right, so you write the movie, yep. you write... And there's boobies. Yes. Out, right. And then, but doesn't your wife see it and go, what yeah, the yeah, hell yeah, are you yeah. doing, Tom? Like, what are you doing? She's like, this seems... Now, here's the thing. It would seem, if you read the script, you're like, Tom, did you just write a seven-minute nude scene for Ricky Lindholm? Because that would be so weird. And the answer is yes. Yes, you did write That's that. That's exactly what I did. There's no twist to that. Do you ever write nude scenes for yourself? Oh, my goodness. You've seen my work. Y yes. I think I did a nude scene on this show. <laughs> or well, we, very close to it. Well... What it was, was we, we said the cameras were running, they weren't running. Oh, oh, that was weird. I was also wondering why it was in the parking lot. Yeah. Like, it was just And I was weird. the only guy there? It seemed... Yes. I was like, Craig, this is your personal vehicle. This is weird. It's just a bit. Uh, just, just, it's just a bit for the show. Just lean over there and turn on the radio. No, I remember, I remember. <laughs> I thought, I thought at best it was some sort of test of my loyalty. No. Yeah. I wouldn't test your loyalty. I, I know you're loyal to <laughs> yourself. It's show business. We're all loyal uh, to ourselves. Come by on. By the way, I, I'm not to be a jerk. You know what? You know I am going to be a jerk. Okay. I asked for the pink cup. What's going on around here? Well, I guess people thought you weren't quite ready for it. <laughs> 
Checkmate. Uh, I have to second. say, I had them put coffee in my cup tonight. And, uh... It's, that is some frothy coffee. Yeah, it's pretty frothy. It? I'm frightened to drink. It's coffee. I'm frightened to drink it, though. Because yeah. in case it all kind of like, ah, and then it looks like I'm possessed. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Have you ever uh, performed an exorcism? No. Well, in one in the movie, yeah. Yeah, so but we you've went... never actually uh, been in a haunted house and seen one happen or... Uh, yes. You... Well, yes. Well, here's the thing. When we were down, we shot the movie in New Orleans. That's haunted down there. Everything is haunted. Pretty haunted. You take a ghost tour, all they do is they say, that one, that one, that yeah, one. Yeah, they're all haunted. Yeah, that... this is, these are all yeah, haunted. Yeah, don't worry, that yeah, one's yeah. not. Don't even go there These at eight yeah, are... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Nicholas Cage owns these four. Right. Nicholas yeah. Cage uh, owns the haunted ones or the not haunted ones. All of the above. Right. Okay. Yeah. He owns a lot of property there. Jason. So, the f first night, first night we were down making this movie in New Orleans. Right. I'm sitting at the computer typing some brilliant screenplay. Oh, okay. Uh, my wife was over. What one was it? Uh, 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 a movie Herbie from Fully Loaded Five. <laughs> right, okay. My my wife was over on the other side of the apartment, and my son was running. There was three rooms, and he keeps running from room to room, and he's and there's a thunderstorm in New Orleans. And he runs by me and he says, hi, Daddy. And he runs by her and he says, hi, Mommy. And he runs to the back of the apartment where we can't see him and he says, hi, Edward. <laughs> I was like the shining. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, hi Edward. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom a little bit there, man. That's scary. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? I certainly do. You do now? I certainly do. Really, really, for sure? Yeah, really? Like, absolutely? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm from Scotland, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, in the house in Scotland... Isn't your president a ghost in Scotland? Yeah, yeah, everybody's a... Everybody's everybody knows a ghost. a ghost, and there's one in the family in yeah, Scotland. Witches, yeah, witches, and you guys have Quidditch and stuff, and... Yeah, Quidditch, uh, and we, uh, you know, we have Patronuses. I have a Patronus. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you know what my Patronus is? Uh, no, I'd love to see it. Leno. <laughs> 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 Leno is my patron. Oh, that was almost that, I, that almost went over my head, but I just caught yeah. it. Yeah. Right but what age is your boy? My, the boy's four. So you're not reading Harry Potter to him, yeah? Uh, but you're yeah. gonna be. No, he's four. Would you like him? Sure. Yeah. I, I got one. I got one at uh, uh, twelve and one at uh, three. So four. Yeah, I could probably oh, fit him. Oh, it's man. a miracle. It's yeah. a miracle. And you think about leaving him at an Arby's all the time. <laughs> no, he's. I love my boy. He's a good boy. It's just, it's intense. It's yeah, no, intense. it's hard work. You gonna have more? Yeah, it's intense to find a tiny little version of you that constantly is punching you in the balls. <laughs> Whether it's on purpose or by accident, but it'll just, it'll run at you, and sometimes it's love. Right. But it feels a lot like, wow, that was just like a linebacker running at my balls. Now, have you no. ever had a linebacker running at your balls? <laughs> well, in the 90s, but... Right, yeah. yeah. Things were at, different at then. Save the Robots. Yeah. yeah. Did you go to Save... Of uh, course. Save the Robots is a club I was talking about last night on the show. That was a great... I used to be... That was there. a great episode last yeah, night. Yeah, the last thing you... You, you catch the show last I, night? Of course I did. I Vin Diesel was here. Late. How about Amazing that guy? Shirt. Ama do we have a clip of that shirt? Uh, Amazing. Do we have a clip of Vin Diesel's shirt from last night? I don't know, do you? Um, I suppose we could find it. We'll just keep talking until they find it. <laughs> See this quiet, kind of un awkward bit? This is a bit like the Let, monologue let's was Let's keep tonight. it as a... You should see, uh... I like the monologue. Were Did you, you really talking about your minty pants? Are the, do you call them your minty pants because they look minty or they taste minty? <laughs> All of the above, girl. <laughs> Have you got a clip of Vin Diesel's shirt last night? You don't... I mean, it was on CBS, so... <laughs> if, that, if that's any help to you, it was, uh... I, I think you received. I remember it like it was like it was like it just happened. Like yeah. Like, I mean, it was one of those things. I. It's like oh yeah, there he is. Look at this. Now, it's my, what's, what's weird is it's I was wearing the same suit last night. <laughs> but well, it looks the same. It's actually guess. a little bit different. Well, this, the tie is very different. The, the tie is. I mean, that's how you know it's. That's how you it, know it's tonight and not last night because of the tie. <laughs> But the suit is very different because, you know, this suit is slightly more herringbone. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you peed in it before, which I is, peed. Yeah, I, just, a, I never technically... peed in it. You Why said... did you say I never peed in my suit? You said... Why did you say I peed in my suit? You, you said, always, every back... time you come out here, let's you're always show... accusing me of peeing. Let's show a clip of the beginning of the interview when you said that you peed in your suit a tiny bit. <laughs> if it's any help to you, it was They're on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you guys got nothing, have you? Yeah. <laughs> we can, there's, you can't roll that. This is happening. We're live right now. We're yeah, no, I mean, we can't same. do that. It's, it's, it's Mobius. We'd go back, we'd meet ourselves, the whole... We'd change It'd the be space back to the future where he nearly makes out with his mom. That's uh, creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you went... I thought it was creepy. Yeah. 
No, that was weird That's when his really mom his finds mom. him attractive and he's like nearly kissing her and it's yeah. his mom. I was like, oh! And you were like, mm. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Tom Lennon. <laughs> Right now. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Tom Lennon, who uh, sometimes he gets right off the chair. <laughs> Look at that. And then he'll do that and do 50 dips, just like that. <laughs> and we're done. Uh, <laughs> sorry if there was interference in your region. <laughs> So, uh, look, look what happened. Look what happened right there. That's power. You got that's Hollywood power. Yeah, that's Hollywood power yeah. right there. I said I didn't want this cup. Yeah. Seven or eight minutes went by. Yeah. A guy came out, looked kind of annoyed at me. He was pretty mad at yeah. you, yeah. That's Eddie. Like, you know, hey. he does the kung fu. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he'll kick your ass for that when you leave. <laughs> He's like... Do you ever do any martial arts? I did. I, did t I tried to do taekwondo for a little while. What happened? What happened was, I was, it was a, all, all girls in the class and me. Um, that doesn't sound bad. Yeah, here's the thing. Was we, there grappling? No, well, yes. Right. With the big, tough dude, who, Vin Diesel-sized dude, basically. Right, yeah, yeah. Running the class. He had a school in the South Bronx, so he would teach you, like, how to walk home safe and stuff. Right. So I was always, always the demonstration. Uh, see, that's, you don't yeah. want that. It was, ended up just being a lot of, like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> What is, take, is Taekwondo, uh, that's a... Uh, Taekwondo, the foot fist way. Foot, the yeah. foot fist way, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I, th yeah, I think I saw that what movie. Did, yeah, what'd you study? <laughs> you sure? Check at the video store, because it's next to something weird. Oh, the, the video store? Yeah. We still have that? Uh, the video store. Go back in time about ten years to the video store. <laughs> well, check, well, I guess they still have the video store. You're They're obviously like, in the martial arts. Me? Yeah, yeah. I was, I, uh, kendo. Uh-huh. Japanese stick fighting. Stick fighting. Mm. Right. No, I comes? just made it up. Uh, no, kendo is a is no, a martial art. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Japanese stick fighting. Yeah, it's but I can't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't fight a stick. I wouldn't know where to begin. Right. <laughs> what do they ever do to us? Exactly. exactly. If you, a stick is just stand. That's the way of the yeah. stick. You stand very still, and people think well, it's just a stick, and then they move on. I feel like I feel like I could take out. You know, once in a while you'll see sort of older uh, people doing like uh, tai chi. Uh, tai chi in the park. I feel like if they don't see me coming, I could get them. Yeah, you yeah. could probably do that. You know what but I mean? But they, they, if they see you, though, they could kick your ass really slowly. <laughs> and that's it. They'd be like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. Terrific rock band there here making their late night TV debut singing the ceiling off of this album. Please welcome the Wild Feathers, everybody. The Wild Feathers. <laughs> Yeah. 